What's up guys, today I'm going to talk about how to install Sonic Ether shaders mods using Magic Launcher. You may have seen all these videos and screenshots of these really good looking shadows and domain of field and uh, waving grain and all that stuff in Minecraft. and the, It makes the graphics look really good. And you may have wondered how to do that or maybe you've tried before and it's, it's actually really complicated. Uh, the maker of the mod has simplified it a little bit by making the installer but today I'm going to show you how to do it with Magic Launcher so for those who are already using Magic Launcher you don't have to use the installer to mess up the jar or anything like that you can do it all in Magic Launcher so first you're going to want to start off at this web page which will have the link in the description it's the Magic Launcher compatible Sonic Ether Shaders mod forum page and it will have all the information on how to install it with Magic Launcher and all the links to downloads. So here's the installation steps. First you're going to want to have Magic Launcher. That's also in the description if you don't already have it so check it out there. Next you're going to want to have Optifine. Optifine is a mod that I've recommended to a lot of you. It's good for uh, increasing your frames per second in the game it makes it a little bit smoother for those who don't have the best gaming machines out there and also gives you a lot of options graphically uh, you can turn on and off weather all sorts of small stuff that will help or make it worse make the frames per second worse but it, it makes your game graphically better or worse I mean it just gives you a little bit more options or a little bit more control over your graphical settings in the game Next, you're going to download the Shader Core engine for the shaders. That is these three links. You're going to want to have, have it correspond to the version of Optifine that you're using. I recommend the standard version. And so you will want to use that if you pick out the standard version, but you don't have to. There's also a smooth version and a multi-core version. All three of those, the descriptions are on the Optifine page, which is this link. All these links will be in the description too, so don't worry about it. So you're going to download one of these three along with Optifine. And then after that, you're going to go down to the shaders, and you can pick one of these. I will show you the Ultra Domain of Field. This one is very taxing on my computer. It will be at extremely low frame rates. It will be unplayable pretty much, maybe... 12 frames per second. You sh if your computer can't handle it, don't do it. Just start with default or light or something. Uh, but if you really want the domain of field or motion blur or whatever, then you can uh, you can go with those. And then you have optional shaders. Optional shaders are just for extra stuff. I put in waving grass and leaves. I wasn't able to notice it, but that's probably because of the low frame rate. So you're going to download one of these, one of these, and if you want, you can download one of these. And then you will also have Optifine. So at the most, four files that you will download, four zip files, but at least three you, um, if you don't have Optifine already. If you already have Optifine, then you should download one of these and one of these. So let's see. Let's go ahead and skip to where I put them in Magic Launcher. So I have them here in Magic Launcher, of Optifine, the Shader Core, the, uh, the Mandatory Shaders, so I had to pick one of those five if you remember, uh, back there. And then I have the Optional Shader. So the order that you're going to have it in is just like this. Optifine should be first, and then the Shader Core, and then your Mandatory Shader and then your optional shaders last. All of this stuff though should be after all your other mods. So if you have mo creatures or you have uh, industrial craft or build craft or any of those other mods, millionaire, anything like that, all, the, all those mods should go way up here up at the top above Optifine because Optifine should always be last but these should be even more last. They should be last, last, last very last. Okay, and you're going to see both of these two, the shaders that you actually pick out, you will see no mods found. 
That's because they don't actually have any class files in them. They are simply configuration files. There's no there's no actual mod in there. It just it just says which ones to enable and don't worry about that. So these two should say no mods found. This one may say five errors, but it worked for me, so I do not think those five errors are a big issue. Then Optifine should say okay. And um, if it doesn't and you have other mods, just go ahead and test it out and see if it works. If it doesn't, then you know you can always ask me for help. So we can go ahead and start playing, but I'm just going to test it to make sure it works. And I had I had a really slow splash screen loading time right here the first time I tried. It was pretty quick that time, but the first time you do it, it may be a little slow. So wait, wait a few minutes. It's no big deal. And then we're going to go to single player shaders test, and this should load up. And I'll put it to full screen. And there we go. You can see the shadows, and you can see the extremely crappy frame rate that I have. It's because I'm playing on a almost three-year-old MacBook. So yes, you can put all your Macs cannot play games jokes right there in the comments, because I will read them all and laugh very loudly, almost maniacally loud. So this is it. You got the actual shading. Here we'll move around a little bit. So you can see the shade. Uh, let's see if we can get the domain of field going on. So the domain of field is like things that you look straight at are very clear in their resolution. So you can see this, this, uh, what is it? Dirt. It's dirt. The dirt, it's very sharp looking. Stop pushing me, Cal. It's very sharp looking. The, it's very crisp. And then if you look over to the left, over where the tree is, it will look kind of blurry. And that's, it's kind of a mimicry of real life vision. Obviously, it's, it's not that pronounced in real life, but it's kind of like that. And then you can also see the grass right now. You can see that shaking around, doing its little thing. And it's dancing around. And then obviously, you can see the shade is moving too. It does that with the daytime. And all of this, and probably a little bit more than I'm forgetting, it all goes on very smoothly if you have a good computer. If you don't, I mean, you can try the lighter versions. I don't know what they look like. I could try it out, but I mean, really, this is just to teach you how to install this. So if you guys have any, any more questions about the shaders or Magic Launcher, please tell me in the comments below your questions or concerns or anything like that. I would be happy to help. And if you could, please give this video a like, thumbs up, comment, favorite, whatever, and subscribe too. Uh, that would really help me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.